Hello and welcome to SAP Business Network for Logistics Carrier Integration Tutorial Series. In this video, we will focus on uh, the usage of provider APIs and how to leverage Manage Integration Logs application to monitor your API calls. Specifically, we will be discussing this integration pattern, which is outbound from a carrier system and inbound into SAP PNL and consequently into a shipper's TM system. Any API call that is inbound into PNL is what we call as a provider API call. And these provider API calls are protected by OAuth 2.0 client credentials mechanism. So in order for these calls to be successful, carriers will have to pass on a better token along with the API. More details about this provider API can be found in the Accelerator Hub. Let's have a look. The Business Accelerator Hub documents the detailed specification of the various provider APIs that are currently supported by SAP BNL. Based on what is in your scope, you can always uh, look up the ones that are relevant and uh, find all the details uh, of that particular API. In this instance, we are looking at the provider API for freight subcontracting, which is the one that you would use to respond to freight orders. You can see the detailed relative URL that needs to be passed on with all the mandatory information. Uh, the fields uh, that needs to be passed on in the payload uh, and the accepted values. A prerequisite for making this provider API calls is to have the client credential details to pass on the authentication along with the API. The process to request for a technical user or the OAuth client credentials is documented in this GitHub page. You can raise an SAP incident and request for the client credentials for the various scenarios that are in scope for you. And once you have the client credentials, you would need the base URL. Uh, the base URL is also documented here. In addition, you can also find the base URL in Business Accelerator Hub. In overview page, configuration details, you can find the base URL. The base URL would be same for both test and production tenants. However, the credentials would differ for each of those tenants. Let's try a provider API for order events. This API is used when you have to report milestone events. So we will try this API and in parallel, we will also look at the manage integration logs application, uh, which helps you to track your API calls. So you can see the specification here uh, there's an option to try out here in the portal. So once you have logged in with your REST user, you can click on try out, add your environment here. Since I have added, I will edit it to show how this can be done. You can give a name. The URL will be pre-filled. All you need to do is to maintain the client ID and the client secret, which you would have received once we had raised the SAP incident. And the token URL would be pre-filled. And then you would click on save. In the body, you would pass on the payload. So I have a payload ready for sending a departure event. Click on run. So we receive a 200 response. We will go to manage integration logs application and we will check the logs for this request. So you can find manage integration logs in business operations. Search for this document ID. You can see all the requests that have been made for this document ID since the beginning. Or if you are only interested in the latest logs, you can also search or filter by time to see only the ones that are just being made now. So here we can see two entries and you can see the document ID here, which refers to the order ID that we just responded to. Uh, the type description describes uh, the type of the event in this case it is uh, order events from external system to uh, the network uh, this also relates to the flow direction the flow direction says the request was being made from an external system which is the carrier system to network which is bnl and then we have a following uh, request or a follow-on request which is the request is then forwarded from network to uh, sap s4 hana which is uh, the shipper score tm system scenario here is tracking and we can also see the payload that was being sent so this is the payload that we just sent we reported a departure event and it was also successfully sent to the shipper's tm system 
Now the shipper can log on to the TM system and validate that they have successfully received this event. In the shipper system, the shipper can use this transaction called SRT Boni to monitor the, uh, the web service calls. You can see that there is one request that has come in and it is the status is green, which means it has been successfully delivered. So we can see that it was a departure event that was reported. A business user on the shipper side can also validate this by looking up the freight order and navigating to the execution tab where the departure event can be seen that it has been recorded. Now let's simulate some error scenarios so that we understand how the provider API works. So here I will try to send an event that is not supported or not whitelisted. So immediately I get a 400 response and with a message saying that departures is not a whitelisted uh, event. We'll try another scenario where we send the right event, but we send a wrong mode. So this gives a 200 response. And when we go to manage integration logs, we can see that the call from external system to network has resulted in an error and it is in escalated status. So we can see this is the payload we sent and we sent, we changed the transportation mode, uh, a wrong value in one of the fields. And uh, this is also another variation of how validation is done. Let's send an event which is whitelisted, but probably not whitelisted in the shipper's TM system. So we'll click on run. So we receive a 200 response. So we go to manage integration logs, click on refresh. You see the latest two calls, the one that the carrier uh, should look at specifically is the is external system to network, is the request that was made by the carrier. We'll check the payload, we see there is an other event that we had sent. And we can also see that it was sent to the shipper system. Now let's check in the shipper system. We don't see the event reported here. We see that the status here uh, has run into an exception. So a shipper can click on this detail and here we see the detail that uh, the other is not supported in the shipper stay up system. So this is a vari variation where uh, even though you receive a 200 OK, uh, the calls might not be successful in the shipper stream system. Uh, this is mainly because of a lot of asynchronous processing in these scenarios. So you will always have to rely on manage integration docs to check whether your API call was successful from an end-to-end -end point of view. Okay.